Hello, Libra. And welcome to your December reading of this current year. Into the next year. Ooh. I'm not going to be doing the regular mid to next month reading. Next reading is going to be um, the whole 12 month New Year reading. I'll have to make a spread up for that, but I won't take too long for that. And I will read what will go on for 2019 for you all when it comes up. Deal? Deal. Big deal. I also have a plate of shells and cheese next to me. So I will be munching away. Sorry, but right now, food is a necessity. <laughs> Ooh. Just like somebody needs to let something go and move on to start something new with somebody else. Maybe? Odd way of putting it. Didn't look at the second card, though. Maybe somebody felt like, with the Five of Swords just springing up right there, that um, they lost the war in comparison just to get us... Maybe somebody thought that they won something, but realized that, like, um, it didn't work out for them, right? No whammies. Okay. Let's see what's coming up with this end. Beginning theme is... The High Priestess. Someone not being honest about their feelings. Hmm. Not necessarily secret. But I feel like it's more along the lines of, um... Someone not really trying to expose what or who they really are. Or not trying to assess something correctly to me. Hmm. So there's a third party situation over here, right? Or maybe a sense of overindulgence. A sense of too much of tea. Like someone went out partying too much and it became too much for them to handle. Or it just became excessive. I think I read that a little bit in your um, Shadow Judgment, didn't I? And now things are kind of stalled with the Wheel of Fortune, like something happened with all this overindulgence or some shit. Or even a third party situation. And it just kind of, um, it kind of ended up making everything just hit pause, like nothing's moving, nothing's changing. Like a Sagittarian energy is no longer flowing. And then over here we have and Six of Cups dealing with memories. Possibly even childhood. And somebody needing to work on something when it comes to that. Or knowing that there needs to be effort made when it comes to a past situation. Mm. I like it. What do you want? It's your lobster. I'm not playing. Oop. With this Queen of Swords. Could be you, Libra, who's being very decisive in who you're cutting in, cutting out, who you're accepting, who you're listening to. When it comes to possibly some, possibly some news that stalled the Wheel of Fortune in the first place. Maybe some bad information. Maybe somebody not leaving <laughs> or traveling the way that they said they were going to. Someone even with bad intentions in their message. Either the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or somebody else emulating that energy sent this page of wands to run over here and stall the wheel with their negative words or whatever. And now someone's like really emotionally confused about what to do. And they're trying to figure out their emotions or a situation possibly with um, a Pisces. Or a cancer, one of the two. Like, they're not sure about what to do. Like, they're, they're more blank than they are interested in drawing, and all of their cups are empty. And they're just, like, drained of all this when it comes to the situation. Maybe they're dealing with the Pisces. And maybe they're just ready. Maybe the Queen of Swords is ready just to deliver the bad news and be like, no. Uh, Ooh. And over here in the fear, 
with this lack of a new start, a new beginning, a new adventure. Um, possibly with a Queen of Cups who is pretending to be a Queen of Wands upright. But now there's a delay or a lack of an offer when it comes to someone's options. Okay, so... Hmm. Which is Ace of Wands reverse? It's like there's no new beginning, right? Because someone's being emotionally manipulative and trying to pretend to be somebody they're not. It's the Queen of Wands, upright. Like the Queen of Cups is too self involved. Um, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer type. Like someone is pretending to be somebody they're not. They're not generous. They do not have confidence. They're not. Really, this person, and this could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This is not somebody who um, is actually this. This is a person who's um, manipulating shit. Like, they're not honest. And I feel like they'll say whatever they want to get whatever they want, you know? And because of a lack of an offer, someone's having a hard time weighing their options. And they really want to be in control of the situation, maybe with an Aries. But that also involves them hiding their feelings in a situation as well. So I'm kind of confused about that, Libra. Like... Yeah. And someone isn't giving out their true emotions in any of this, right? Once again, possibly a water sign. You guys got a lot of fucking water in this, you know? A lot of water, a lot of fire. Must be dealing with fire signs or some shit, too. Remember, even fire has something underneath the surface, though. But yeah, here's a Knight of Cups. And, like, he's being really immature. Like, he's being emotional, acting deprived. Here's someone trying to heal from all this. All this bad news, all this manipulation of sorts. All of this, like, needing to come to an understanding with emotions or dealing with somebody who's emotional. And over on this side, dear Libra. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone needs to recover because their heart's still broken in a situation. They're getting there. It's just, it's taking a while to get there. But I believe in you, and you can do it. You can do anything you want, okay? So, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.